Hello everyone. Um, okay, well, whatever. That's the way it's gonna be. I know I said I was gonna be playing uh, Neverwinter after lunch, but uh, I had someone suggest to me that I play Titanfall. Now I'm gonna warn you guys. First off, I am not good at this game. Uh, <laughs> I am not really generally that great at first-person shooters, so don't expect like. MLG type gameplay, but I am, I guess I would, it's going to sound self-serving, but I'm semi-decent, I guess. Basically, I run in and I kill stuff. That That's the whole thing right there. Um, just got to stop saying, um, I'm going to start slapping myself every time I say it. I am, uh, <clears throat> there's an, uh, yeah. Oh, it's close to um, so. Anyway, I am going to be playing this game because someone suggested it. And we'll see how it goes. I figure it'll be a little more fast-paced, probably a little more exciting for you guys. I'm also sure my gameplay will probably piss off a few of you. <laughs> yeah, I like I said, I run right in there. I shoot whoever's there. And I call it a day. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an MLG player. I do not snipe. I don't. This is a battle of no. I, I'm an assault all the way. I run in. I shoot. I run out. You're gonna see quite a few deaths because, like I said, I am not that great. Get rid of this annoying thing. Listen up. We're doing all right against these outlaws, but not by much. We're doing all right, right? Yeah, Your I think so. Be ready in 30 seconds. I don't think so. Pilot, your Titan will be ready in 15 seconds. Titan online. Signal. That was a person I'd be dead by now. Good thing that was only a grunt. Someone blew up. Oh, he's mine. See, there was no name above his head. I was like, he, he can't possibly be mine. Oh, yeah, he is mine. So, you guys saw me kicking someone who was part of my team. Oh, and I kill everyone. It doesn't matter if it's NPC or not. Critical damage. Seek cover. Pop smoke. I don't know. Oh, Yeah, my strategy is generally throw a bunch of C4 on the Titan, jump off, and then detonate it. Because C4 does a shit ton of damage. <clears throat> Seriously, it will kill a Titan real fast. Higher vantage point. 
Oh, and for anyone who's curious, I play inverted. That's right. I'm not a normal player. I play inverted. Some of you hate that. Some of you love it. I don't know which one you guys are, but whatever. That's just how I play. Oh, man. I'm not seeing many enemy pilots around. I see the titans everywhere, but... Chances are they're in their damn titans. Which, if that's the case... I gotta keep doing what I've been doing. Try to rodeo one of them. Or... Control to pilot. Yeah, I love the sci-fi, the sci-fi, not fly, implications of this game. I mean, it could have gone with a better story rather than doing the whole brink thing and putting the story as a giant multiplayer campaign. That's really lame and dumb and. Yeah, not not very happy about that. You guys will, as you get to know me, you'll find that I am much, much more of a story-based guy. I like story. I do not go for, you know, crappy ass uh, multiplayer. That is not a substitute for story. Um, games that have generally made the campaign nothing but a multiplayer experience. Generally, I don't like those kind of games. Uh, Battlefield 3, I think, did that? Well, no, never mind. Brink, uh, the game Brink did that. And, uh, Titanfall. I mean, I like the, multi the multiplayer of Titanfall, which is the only reason why I still play it. But the storyline was very weak, poorly developed, and I'm sorry if you're if you're gonna turn your campaign into a multiplayer. Like I'm not talking about a multiplayer. Okay, that's not one of my guys. <clears throat> if you're gonna turn your campaign into a uh, a multiplayer, like not. Not a dual player where you have two people playing. I'm talking online multiplayer. If you turn your campaign into that, chances are your campaign sucked. That's just the way I feel about it. Brink was the first game to really do that, well, that I played anyway, and it really disappointed me, which is why I didn't. I sold Brink as soon as I could. Oh, I got stepped on. Are you serious? What the hell? All units return to HQ. Defeated. Gee, Return I wonder why. Mission aborted. I know the comments for this one will probably be mean. I don't care. I'll take a page from the Grumps book and read your I'll read all your comments in Dale Gribble's voice. But yeah, um, if you're if you have to make your campaign a multiplayer experience, chances are your campaign sucks and it shouldn't be released yet. That's just the way I feel personally. I I think a campaign is what defines a game. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, I play, fun little fact, I play games for the campaign modes. Uh, Mass Effect was probably one of my favorite series ever. And I've, I've heard rumors, now they're only rumors, I am not confirming anything. I have heard rumors that Mass Effect is going to be coming to the Xbox One as a trilogy. Like a, uh, kind of like the Master Chief Collection. I am personally super excited about it because, like I said, it was probably my favorite series on the Xbox. Followed very closely 
by Gears of War. I really love Gears of War. And I've actually beaten every game on the hardest difficulty. Um, <clears throat> with the exception of Judgment. Judgment sucked. I don't care what anyone says. If someone's like, oh no, Judgment was okay, they're lying to you. It sucked. It was not a Gears of War game in my opinion. If we can go back to like Gears 3, Gears 2 even, you know, Gears 2 was awesome. Gears 1 was awesome. Gears 3 was amazing. Gears Judgment? Not that great, to be honest. I did not like it at, li at all. Uh, actually, I think that's one of the first times that I bought a game, played the first level, and put the game back because I was like, nope, I can't, I can't do it. But anyway, I've heard rumors that Gears of War is also going to be ported to the Xbox One. And, uh... I will most definitely get a crew together and I will stream that shit for you guys because Gears of War is always a fun experience. I don't care who you are. You play Gears of War, you're having a good time. Uh, let's see here. Master Chief Collection, uh, as soon as I get the money, which is when I get a job, which I'm hoping for at the moment, I will get Master Chief Collection I'll play some Halo for you guys, with you guys too if you want to give up your gamer tags and uh, be broadcasted. Uh, I will also... I plan on getting uh, Shovel Knight as well. Personally, I love Shovel Knight. I have it on Steam. Really good game. Really retro feel, which is amazing. Cause re as most people know, retro games are generally the best kind. I said generally, so don't be flaming me in the comments about that one. But, uh, yeah, I really love Shovel Knight. I plan on getting it soon. I've thought about getting State of Decay. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um... So, yeah, um... We got a, we got a, quite a few good games coming out. I've heard Kingdom Hearts 3. Whenever we get more info about it, I've heard it is going to be coming out for the Xbox as well as PlayStation. I really really hope that's true because I will definitely broadcast that. Kingdom Hearts Jam. I love that game. Uh, I, I beat two. I beat one once. One was really hard, actually, because what I did is <clears throat> I bought two. I played through two. It's a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. And then I bought one because I was like, "Well, I can't just I can't very well just play one, uh, two and not play one." And uh, yeah, I ended up playing one. I was like, "Wow, this is really hard." It is so much harder than two. The enemies do shit on the and uh, the bosses are all difficult. So if you if you plan on playing Kingdom Hearts one, two, and eventually when it comes out three, so like I said, keep in mind Kingdom Hearts one is a really difficult game, which is to be expected. Nothing wrong with difficult games, by the way. If you love difficult games, good on you. Personally, uh, I like I like games that are a challenge, but at the same time, I don't like them to be Ninja Gaiden hard. <laughs> let's be honest, that's unrealistic. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go more modern here. I don't like it being uh, Dark Souls difficult. Dark Souls is. Oh. Dark Souls doesn't even get me going on that game. I get so mad about that game. <laughs> wow, for some reason I was lagging all around the entrance there. 
Whatever. If you haven't noticed, I kind of shrug off online. Death. Not because there's no point getting pissed off about it. Um. But yeah. I was talking Dark Souls. Yeah, I like games to be challenging. I don't like them to be that challenging. That's that's a ridiculous amount of challenge. Dark Souls. Uh, it is a good game. I'm not saying it's not. If you beat the game a billion times, good on you. I have not and cannot. So, I do not have the patience for that game. That netted me quite a few points. That was nice. But anyway, with Shovel Knight, um, I'm sorry, I got a little off track there. Shovel Knight's a great game. It is. It's difficult. Uh, it def It definitely has its points of difficulty. And uh, it's very retro. The music's great. The gameplay is awesome. Just brings me back, man. Back to good old days of NES, SNES, Genesis, Final Fantasy. Be advised, your replacement timing will be ready. Unfortunately, you know, I know this is this probably upsets a lot of the older gamers. I never got to play Chrono Trigger. I've heard it's an amazing game, worth every penny. I just, I've never got to play it. Yeah, did you see that? I kind of did him dirty. I know I did. Oh, and I do have a silencer on my gun because I don't like to be broadcast everywhere when I have when I fire my gun. I like to kind of leave it uh leave it silent. Oh, I still have my uh massive payload card going. Forgot about that. Titan has ejected. The hostile Titan is attached to my heart. I have to forgive the bark and the Warning. Excessive damage sustained. Excessive damage, it says. Warning. An enemy pilot is attacking you. Crush. Kill. Kill. Yeah, I know, there's an enemy pilot. He's summoning his own Titan. Blah 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 be 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 blah. High Boom. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Come here. So what what are your guys' favorite retro games or what would be considered retro? Because nowadays like I don't know, some people consider fucking Halo retro. Let's be honest, it's not. So But if you consider Halo retro, if you consider it retro, what what else do you consider to be retro? Let me know. Personally, my favorite retro game would be so many to choose from. Probably either a Mario or Zelda game. 
I played a shit ton of Mario and Zelda. And my batteries are dying. How exciting. Will my batteries last long enough for me to finish the match? Let's find out. Chances are all like, my batteries will die right here. <laughs> so if I go indescribably quiet, it's probably because my batteries decided to go out and I had to change. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> oh, I made 80 points that round. Nice. Alright, I'm looking for new batteries here. I do not have a fresh set of batteries. That is quite the bummer. Um, alrighty. Well, I guess that just means... I guess that means I'm going to have to stop for now and pick up tomorrow. Uh, look at the sniper so I don't have to do that bull crap anymore. My battery should last another few seconds. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Sure. Whatever. That works. Alright guys. Um, I know I've only gotten to play like maybe one match, but... Oh, I'm sorry, two. Maybe three? I don't remember. I don't... I didn't keep count. Uh, it's time to go so I will see you all tomorrow with a new with a new broadcast a new stream uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and if you need someone interesting to watch I highly recommend brown man he's Ray from achievement hunter he's fun to watch um I know I probably don't have the viewer base to really recommend people to, for you guys to go watch but he is fun and if you're watching this on YouTube I recommend him if you ever decide to watch Twitch as well. So to all of you YouTubers and Twitchers out there, have a great day. Love you all. Peace.